The Los Angeles Lakers offseason has been underwhelming so far, and it seems they missed out on a major target. Clay Thompson, according to insider Andy Kamenetsky on the Locked On Lakers podcast, the Lakers were prepared to offer significantly more money to Thompson than other teams were willing to spend. Kamenetsky revealed, I know the Lakers tried to pay a premium for Clay Thompson, but it didn't work out. Sam Amick from The Athletic reported that the Lakers were ready to offer Thompson a four-year, $80 million contract, which was considerably more than other teams were proposing for the 34-year-old guard. Thompson averaged 17.9 points, 3.3 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 0.6 steals, and 0.5 blocks per game in the 2023-24 season. However, the Golden State Warriors declined a final two-year, $40 million offer for Thompson. They weren't interested in bringing the five-time All-Star back for that amount. The Lakers were willing to meet Thompson's desired annual rate and add two extra years, but he opted to sign with the Dallas Mavericks on a three-year, $50 million deal via sign-and-trade. Why did Thompson choose the Mavericks over the Lakers? Several factors seem to be at play. NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski noted that Thompson chose the Mavericks for a better chance at winning his fifth championship, and due to differences in state taxes. While the tax issue was beyond the Lakers' control, the perception that Thompson had a better shot at another title elsewhere is a blow to L.A. The Mavericks, fresh off an NBA Finals appearance, offered a more attractive landing spot for Thompson, who has already earned around $266 million in his NBA career. The Lakers, having been eliminated in the first round of the playoffs and hiring inexperienced coach J.J. Redick, seemed less appealing. Thompson also reportedly felt that his experience with the Lakers would be too similar to his time with the Warriors, making the Mavericks a refreshing change where he wouldn't be under constant scrutiny. Following the failed attempt to sign Thompson, the Lakers showed interest in acquiring DeMar DeRozan. However, according to Kamenetsky, DeRozan was not a realistic target due to the need for a significant salary cut, which he wasn't willing to accept. DeRozan ultimately signed with the Sacramento Kings on a three-year, $73.7 million deal via sign-and-trade, with the Lakers missing out on their top free agent targets. All eyes are now on whether they can make a significant trade, for the start of the 2024-25 season, Jeremy Grant has been mentioned as a potential target, so keep an eye on that name. What do you think? Will the Lakers manage to make a splash before the season starts, or will they continue to struggle in free agents? Share your thoughts in the comments below.